Yeah! So, this week has been pretty interesting, hasn't it? The new One Piece chapter came out, and I didn't hate it. I actually think that it was a pretty good chapter. What the heck? Mystic Chimp liked a One Piece chapter? How is that possible? That's insane! I think that EG Dark is worse than Wano. I mean, we are not even finished. This arc just started. And already it has had more nonsense, more plot holes than Wano. Let's get a little flashback going. First of all, the reveal of Dr. Vegapunk. Ugliest character design in all of One Piece. When I saw this guy for the first time, I threw up, okay? I'm not even joking about it. And after that, Rob Lucci was revealed to have an awakening ability. He fights against Luffy, and uh, Luffy gives him a little boo-boo on his cheek. And Rob Lucci has a little band-aid on his cheek. Oh. And... Uh, are we supposed to forget that Luffy took down the strongest creature alive? But uh, Rob Lucci only gets a little poo-poo. Okay, okay. And then Kaku has an awakening. Because, pff, because why not? Give everyone awakenings. Who cares? After that, Stassi is revealed to be a secret agent working for Vegapunk. And it's also revealed that she's a clone created by Vegapunk, and she was sent after her master. The world government sent a creation after its master, and they were like, yeah, that's gonna work out fine. Huh? Oda is literally just, he doesn't even think about what he creates. Even one arc wasn't this bad. And uh, then, she, she takes out Two awakened Devil Fruit users, Kaku and Rob Lutzi. After that, Shanks fights against Keith and uh, takes out Keith in a few seconds. The Keith pirates are wiped out. They are all dead. They all died in a few panels. It starts out in uh, Blackbeard's island, the island that is under his control. And it turns out that Kobe is Blackbeard's hostage. Huh? When was Kobe taken by Blackbeard? That was never shown. The last thing we saw was Relic about to fight Blackbeard. And that's it. Now Kobe is a slave to Blackbeard pirates. Why is everything always off screen? Relic versus Blackbeard was off screen. Kaido vs. Shanks was off screen. Akainui vs. Aokiji was off screen. It's uh, revealed that Vasco Shot has the ability to drink. O okay. He has the Devil Fruit ability to get drunk and create bubbles. I feel like I already talked about how Oda has run out of Paramissia abilities. Am I wrong? It feels like Oda these days is like looking at this table. Oh, a stapler devil fruit, a paper devil fruit, microphone devil fruit. Oh, this guy can turn into a coffee machine. And uh, then he goes to his fridge and he's like, oh, uh, milk devil fruit, cheese devil fruit. I don't know, I have a hot dog, a hot dog devil fruit, coffee devil fruit. It's like random bullshit that the Oda is making into devil fruits. Trunk, trunk fruit? He has the ability to get drunk and create bubbles. Okay. Sirio of the Rain is revealed to be the invisible man. And we already knew that he had this ability. And uh, Pizarro is uh, revealed to be an entire island. He has the Island Devil Fruit. Well, that seems kind of familiar. Where have we seen that before? Oh yeah, it was few arcs ago with Pika. 
Pika literally turned into a giant stone creature the size of an island. And now there's a guy with an island devil fruit. How is Pika's devil fruit and Pizarro's devil fruit any different? It feels like Oda is just taking old devil fruits and uh, reusing them. Sojan Wolf is revealed to have the giant man devil fruit. And we already knew that, because in Marineford he literally appeared out of nowhere. So Vasco Schutz devil fruit was not unique. It's Oda going to the fridge and being like, oh, beer, okay, uh, we're gonna use this as a devil fruit ability. And uh, when it comes to Siri of the Rain literally using an old devil fruit, Pizarro literally being Pika, yeah, so... The devil fruits are getting worse and worse. I thought you said this was a good chapter. What's going on? Well, it gets good when the marines arrive. Let's start uh, talking about the stuff I liked. I think that the marines all had cool designs. I think that Corp appearing at the end, destroying the entire island, was badass. Imagine if this is the end of the Blackbeard Pirates. They were built up for like two, two decades and then Corp comes out of nowhere and he's like Give me back Kobe! And he destroys the entire island with, with his punch like he just destroys everything Maybe next chapter, next chapter starts with Blackbeard dead and the Blackbeard pirates being corpses Corp is literally waging a war against a Yonko for Kobe because he cares so much about Kobe he literally says, leave Kobe alone, he's the future of the marines. And he wages a war against the fucking Yonko. I love Karp, and I'm glad that Oda did not ruin his character. Everyone and their mother knows that Aokichi is a spy working against Blackbeard. So why does Blackbeard keep him around? Is the guy really so stupid? Does he really believe that a... Former admiral has come to his side. Blackbeard can't be so stupid, right? Marines declared a war against the Yonko just for Kobe. That's dedication. But the devil fruit abilities some of the marines had were kind of ridiculous. Oh, I have a devil fruit that can turn a sword into a whip. I can whip people with my sword. And that's useful. How? How is it uh, more useful than just a regular sword? And uh, also I want to talk about one thing. I noticed that Burgess and uh, Van Auger, Tokyo, all these characters were back. So was Trafalgar Law defeated off screen? Really? You're gonna have Water D Law defeated off screen. What's up with uh, Keith being, being taken out in a few panels and now it seems that Law was also taken out off screen. Like, what are you doing, Oda? 